Well, hello, hello, hello. Much love to you all. May God bless you all. Hit that like button. Share this stuff out. Also, I'm going to get ready to program here real soon for Wednesday's Bible study and then uh, be working on Saturday's sermon tomorrow, Lord willing. So, um, like I said, hit that like button. Let's uh, get into a little bit of news that's going on. The Ibu volcano alert level is at the second highest after a strong eruption in Indonesia. Um, really, really huge eruption that happened May 13th. Um, around, I think that would be, I'm trying to think about military time. I think that's like one or one in the afternoon. Of course, it's daytime, as you can tell, because the picture. But uh, this is a pretty huge eruption that had happened over there. We're continuing to see these things happening um, and, and continuing to magnify. Um, with everything that we have going on in the world, I would expect to see increased earthquakes, increased volcanic activity with a lot of the signs of the times we're living in in these biblical days that we are in today. And I know a lot of people maybe like overlooking this stuff and yes, like man-made and all that we know, but I've had many videos to point towards for the past year that there was going to be a talk this year at the end of this month where the who is getting ready to take over um, for future pandemics and stuff here in America. They already kind of control with other countries what's going to happen and what's going to be said um, I could really see with this magnifying and increasing, and there was another report on this, is this also to push their agenda for us to eat crickets. I could really see that one of the biggest possibilities we've been seeing for the past couple of years. They say that cow farts kill the environment, even though if you look in the biblical text, that animal was created before man. So they've been here a lot longer than us. It's not animals that are destroying the earth. But... Um, as we see this continued bird flu epidemic that they're having, I could really see them using this as the next trigger for what they want to do for global um, chaos for to control the masses. It says 70 dairy farmers in Colorado are being monitored for symptoms after exposure to the bird flu. Colorado health authorities closely monitored 70 dairy farmer workers after potential exposure to the bird flu virus. On a northeastern farm, the situation follows a re recent announcement of a second possible bird flu outbreak affecting a dairy herd in the state. So it says there's 36 dairy herds across nine states that have had this now, and we've been starting to see where they're saying humans are starting to get it. Either way, I really think at the end of this year when the Department of Who does their meeting, that they've been planning for a while, we might see something. I don't know. I, I just don't really trust uh, anything to do. The Bible says, trust no man. Um, I just don't trust what they're trying to do. We already know since 2020, what the elites plans are for anything to do with uh, us humans. Of course, they want total domination of us. They want us to, uh, be under their control. They want us to submit to their will and their ways. So, and we know that they've been pushing to say, hey, no longer can you eat meat. Um, I'm not going to click on it, but will this trigger, as it says, will this trigger the normalization of the cricket protein that they're trying to do? I brought up something about a year ago in a news article where it was in a town, I think, out in Massachusetts where there was more deaths than there was birth rate. We are starting to see that the global fertility rate may have just reached a dangerous milestone, they're saying. Uh, the world is at a startling demographic milestone. Um, the global fertile rate, fertility rate will soon drop below the point needed to keep the population constant. It may have already happened, they're saying. Fertility is falling almost everywhere for women across all levels of income, education, and labor force participation. The falling birth rates um, come with the huge implications for a way people live, how economics grow, and the standings of the world's superpowers. I also think a lot to do with uh, certain things thing that people have taken has also really killed the fertility rate as well too. 
Fertility rate fell below replacement in 1970s and took a leg down during the pandemic. It's dropping in, in developing countries too. India surpassed China as the most populous country last year. Uh, that's actually real. That's actually really crazy because China has been the most populated country in a while. Now India has surpassed them, yet its fertility rate is now below replacement level. So what we're seeing here is a mixture of things that I really think we need to add into here. We're seeing also a lot of people just don't want kids anymore. A lot of people might also be having consideration that they way, they the way they see the world is turning out. Not that they don't want kids, but they're not wanting to bring children up in this because possible income or just the labor force is at really horrible rates. Or maybe some people are just looking and saying, we're in the end times. I don't know if I really want to have a child. But the fact that the matter is, we also need to take into consideration with the thingy thing that they brought in in 2020. I really think that has killed the fertility rate. And then we see the increase of the LGBTQ community. And we also see the increase of people wanting abortions. So I also will say it has to also be a judgment from God that why would I want to bless people with children when after all, the book of Psalms says it's a blessing to have children. If people just want to kill children, if people just want to not even step up to the plate and be, or let alone people are not even thinking about having kids because of what's happening. Either way, this is really alarming because, um, especially with whatever happens with the who come the end of May, uh, could we potentially see them try to do some other type of lockdown situation on us? Another mass kill off of human beings. And we already don't have enough human beings that are uh, repopulating as it is. Also, if you didn't get in go listen to this, it's seven minutes. It's the Bible reading today. Um, I'm getting ready to program Wednesday's Bible study. And uh, then if you have not subscribed also to um, my backup channel, I'm getting ready to release a YouTube short on that. I've been releasing a lot of YouTube shorts on this uh, channel for a while now, and they're actually reaching out pretty well to people. Um, sometimes more views than I'm getting on the big channel here. But uh, that's because people want Christ in about 36 seconds. But either way, uh, go in and subscribe to that's on the front page. And also, uh, if you haven't checked out um, my wife's channel as well, let me back up again, if it ever get me there. Back up again and go to Yellow Bird here, my wife. And then also, this is me and my son's channel, The Pogue Boys. Go check out uh, Hear His Truth, See His Glory, Bible Readings, and then Bella's Art. Um, really young lady in our church that is uh, starting to do a lot of artwork and um, has been doing it for quite some time. She's putting together some really nice art pieces, has a lot of talent. So, so once again, guys, hit the like button. Much love and may God bless you.